you always want to see what's on my iPhone. It's the same apps. <sighs> Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let's go. What's going on guys, Shivan here back with a new video. Now today I have another what's on my iPhone video, but the special thing is now we're gonna see what's on my iPhone with the new iOS 14 update. So yeah, I'm currently on iOS 14.0 beta 2. So I have the developer beta and I'm running it and it looks great. So I'm just gonna show you all the apps that I'm using on here. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna scoot over to the side and put my screen right here did it do it didn't work Pow! right here so my screens up here and this is my home screen so to get everything like miscellaneous stuff out the way my iPhone case is the Apple silicone case official Apple silicone case and also my wallpaper can be found down below in the description and yeah now my home screen is pretty simple as usual I try to keep everything nice and minimalistic so the first app i have right here as you can see it's kind of color coordinated i have the facebook app photos reminders notes tweet bot this is what i use for twitter because on is 14 twitter is kind of broken right now so i use tweet bot it's similar to twitter it's just a twitter client you also have night mode but i don't know like let me know what you guys do but basically i use light mode in the daytime and dark mode in the nighttime but if you want to use dark mode entirely, you could go into the settings and turn dark mode on. And as you can see, we have dark mode on TweetBot as well. So yeah, pretty simple. But as I said before, I usually just let it be automatic and use light mode in the day. But yeah, that's TweetBot. Next up, I have the App Store. And I have my two folders right here, which is my financial folder and my camera application folder. So in my financial folder, I just have bank stuff like TD, Scotiabank, you know, stuff like that. Scotiabank Caribbean because... If you guys know, if you guys didn't know, I'm from Jamaica, so I still use that. So yeah, just basically everything in here for like bills, my phone service, my internet bills, all of that stuff. I have that app. Next up, we have the camera application. Honestly, I do not use half of these apps. I only use like probably Lightroom, Facetune. I haven't used in a long while. IV Cam is basically an app that you could use to use your phone as a webcam. So you just install this app onto your PC and get everything set up and you literally could use your phone as a webcam. Quality is clean as hell. So you'd have to use those cheap webcams. You had to pay for it too, but it's definitely worth it. Next up, we have the Image Edge app and I use this to control my camera. So for example, if I want to take a picture of myself, I would use the Sony Image Edge app. Velum is, everybody knows this. If you know my videos, this is what I use to get cool wallpapers. They have tons of nice wallpapers in here, as you could see, and you could just scroll through them. And these actually look fire. Wow. They always update the app as well. That's what I like. You also have the daily wallpaper. So every day you'd have a special wallpaper. And these actually look so good. But I'm going to stick to my, you know, my little orange and teal wallpaper that I have right now. Next up, I have the Gmail app. I can't open that right now. But it's my email client because I use Gmail. Google Chrome. We've got the clock app, the photos app, the camera app. I mean, the clock app, the camera app. So you can see you guys over there. What's up? what's up what's up that's you guys right there we also have youtube studio youtube and as you can see on this side i kind of have my camera and my settings app in reach so it's on the right hand side i could easily access the camera easily access the settings and basically all these app on the bottom two corners so studio youtube all of that stuff i just leave it at the bottom because it's so easy to reach and Next up, we have the Skillshare app. And actually, thanks Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you guys don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is basically an application that you could use to learn your online classes. So everything you wanted to do, anything you think about doing, anything you're interested about doing, if you're interested in photography, videography, editing, arts and crafts, learning how to dance, literally any skill you wanted to try out, this is the app you could use. Now, as you can see, I have a couple classes that I've been watching personally. 
So I've been watching this Adobe Premiere Pro class from Jordy. You guys might know him on YouTube. And the good thing about this is that you could browse through the chapters. It's like a class, but you could literally choose when you want to wake up to go to class and skip to any part of the video that you want. So you have the different chapters. You have, for example, it starts off with the class introduction. Basically, it's telling you what you're going to do. You have the digital video part, workspace, organized clip. It literally teach you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro step by step. And that's the good thing I love about Skillshare. As I said before, you have tons of different classes here. They also have recommended. So you have how to film with your iPhone. You have build an authentic channel. teaches you how to grow your YouTube channel. Look, we also have Ali right here. You guys have to know this guy tons of different classes you could choose from for example you want to learn how to cook okay cooking type in cooking look at all these different cooking classes you could choose from 1100 people inside this class crazy stuff literally anything you wanted to do especially since we're quarantined now you have tons of free time I definitely recommend you guys to check out Skillshare and the good news is they will be giving two months free premium membership to the first thousand people that click the link to sign up down below in the description thank you skillshare for sponsoring today's video no but for real i know it's a sponsorship but skillshare is actually so good now i actually bought two cameras so i don't know if you guys could see it but i have another camera over there i probably have to turn on the camera app so i have another camera over here as you can see it's the same camera but the reason I bought it is because I was watching this camera series on Skillshare that is going to show me how to set up different camera angles and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for new camera angles from Chevy. I'm just learning more about how to get everything set up. I ordered lights, I ordered a microphone stand because the one that I have right now is really bad. So yeah, the production quality is going to increase and it's thanks to Skillshare. They didn't tell me to say that or anything, but it's just really good. So yeah. On the top, don't think I forgot about the widgets. I have my calendar widgets and also the weather widget. That's all right there. So if I had something coming up today, it would show that, hey, you have to wash the dishes today, stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for my first application, home screen and the widgets that I have on my first page. Now down the bottom right here, quick access to all my favorite apps again. We have the phone app, messages, Spotify, I love Spotify like I probably have the most lit playlist on Spotify let me know what you guys think but I'll I be I'll be bumping some music let me know what your favorite genre of music to listen to as well but Spotify is for me I love it I tried Apple music but it just doesn't have the range and depth of good music that I like but yeah next up we have another quick access to all my favorite social media apps so in here we have instagram whatsapp snapchat messenger tiktok yeah uh telegram mipc which is basically to like i have security cameras set up around the building so i could use that to see everything so if anybody's trying to pull up you now i'm saying i got my security camera for you guys we also have the Philips Hue app in here, which I use to control all my lights inside my room. So yeah, I could turn on the shelf light behind me right here. As you can see, it's on right now. That shelf light, I could change up the colors, you know, green, literally anything I want. I could just use this to switch up the lights in my room. Next up, we have the OneNote app. And if I come into here, OneNotes, this is what I use to sketch all of my videos, all of my scripts. One note if look look at all this now skipping on over skipping on over to the other page We have all my Google apps if you guys don't know I'm a huge fan of Google. I love Google services I just love everything about Google services man. It's just so good But I just can't use an Android as my daily daily primary driver I still use an Android phone, but it's like my secondary driver I just love how you could customize everything on Android But then again the iPhone is just so much more reliable in my opinion, but yeah We got Gboard right here I haven't used Gboard in a long time since Apple updated their keyboard to have swipe to type and in iOS 14 we also have the ability to search for emojis so if you type in red you can see all the red emojis you type in lol all the laughing emoji type in jamaica 
get the idea you could search for emojis now now that was the reason why I used Gboard because Gboard could have done all of that but since Apple integrated this in iOS 14 I haven't used Gboard in a long while next up we have Google Drive transfer files share files we have Google search amazing application my favorite part about this Google search thing is that it just shows everything I'm interested in all the news that I'm interested in is right here and also my favorite part is that it has this Google lens feature so for example I don't know what something is I could just come here take a picture of it and it basically shows me what this is so you could go into the shopping feature it's obviously not doing a good job right now let's go in for shopping here we go it shows you the Logitech G Pro whoa is that booze right there twisted let's see if it finds this slipper right here Gucci slides oh yeah we in there we found it <laughs> but yeah you basically can see what Google search does Google Photos, another amazing application that I use to store all my images. So if you guys didn't know, I think this is a 64 gig phone, but I don't care because everything, every images, every videos that I have is been stored on Google Photos. So good. Google Maps, so good. Way better than Apple Maps, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, but that's what I use. Google Home, I use this to control all of my Google Smart Home devices like my bedroom display, my TV, my lights, my Google Home Hub. Google Home is the application. Next up, we have a remote desktop and I could use this app to literally control my PC. So anywhere in the world I am, I could come onto here. As long as my PC is turned on, I could control my PC. For example, I forget to upload something, I could just come onto here upload that file it's not really good for controlling your PC as acting like you're using your PC but small stuff like transferring files or sending files Chrome remote desktop is the way to go Google meet I use this for like joining meetings and stuff like that Google assistant you already know it's almost like Siri Siri competitor but it's just a voice assistant for Google so it's way better in my opinion than Siri but it's not really in the best way to integrate it to your phone the only way you could really integrate it is by using the back tap feature in iOS 14 I could just and as you can see now I open my Google assistant what is 2 plus 2 plus 4 the answer is 8 this is my shopping application so it says uh, this is actually a cool application and basically it allows us to purchase stuff without paying the full price so you for example you wanted this headphone right i would just use sizzle to pay monthly for the headphone instead of just wasting all my money and it's good for your credit score it helps to build a credit score as well and that's what i actually used to order my camera lens it was like 600 dollars, so i paid like 100 dollars every two weeks but yeah pretty cool stuff next up we have the apple app you could go come onto here reserve um stuff at the Apple store stuff like that Banggood another e-commerce store next up we have the delivery and food application so we have the transit app for trains Uber McDonald's app Presto to top up the bus pass Burger King app for deals skip the dishes for ordering food and also Uber Eats for ordering food next up you have one of my favorite apps again Reddit if you don't know what reddit is i don't know what to tell you but reddit is basically a social media app for nerds in my opinion if you want to go into detail with stuff you definitely need to come on to reddit you have so much stuff on here in terms of information knowledge like literally everything that's viral is on reddit first then it goes on twitter then it goes on instagram Next up we have the app library so if you guys didn't know I have ton more applications on my phone but because of iOS 14 I get to choose all the apps that I just want to see so the app library has all of my different applications and if I come into here you could see I could search for all my apps so I won't go through all these applications because the video will be too long but you guys get the idea we have this also new one in iOS 14 called Translate which is basically Google Translate but Apple just copied it and tried to make it better so we could say hello what's up done and it basically translated into Spanish so if you're talking to somebody and they speak Spanish you could say hey what's up how are you Oye, ¿qué tal estás? 
all right you get it and that's basically what's on my iphone there's literally nothing else apart from all these miscellaneous apps that i told you guys about discord all of that stuff but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this small video but if you enjoyed this video smash the like button if you're new here subscribe for more content like this and as always love peace and tweaks signing out